Hey, everybody. Welcome to Professor Long's Lectures in Anatomy and Physiology. Um, we're going to be going over the inner ear. We're going to be going over the tubes and ducts of the inner ear. If you want to follow along, we're at the top of page 8 on the list of things to know. In the last video, we were covering the cochlea, and we cut the cochlea open. We noticed that inside the cochlea are all these empty spaces and these membranes. One way you get oriented is if you look very carefully, there's a little structure here that looks like a little wave crashing over. This tube is going to circle around and reverse and then circle around and circle around and circle around. We're going to cut it and we're just going to look at these three spaces here. This part is this whole model. Okay. So now all of this white piece out here is called the bony labyrinth that goes all the way around. In the semicircular canals, we actually have the bony labyrinth and we have the membranous labyrinth like a tube inside of a tube. But in the cochlea, the membranous labyrinth gets stuck here and there's a piece of bone that comes all the way across and we get this wedge-shaped area. So here's the anatomy that you need to know. Bony labyrinth, all of the white outer covering. This space here is called the um, vestibular duct or in Latin you would say scala vestibuli. Scala means duct. So this space is the vestibular duct, this space is the cochlear duct, or scala cochlei, and this space is the tympanic duct, or scala tympani. Now there's three major membranes here. This membrane is called the vestibular membrane. It separates the vestibular and cochlear ducts. This structure right here, this little mound of cells, is referred to as the organ of corti, or the spiral organ of corti. Okay? And within the organ of Corti, we have these little cells here that have these little hairs. So these little specific cells are called hair cells. Okay, This is the inner hair cells. These are the outer hair cells. But these are hair cells, and they have little cilia. Now, the organ of Corti also has this membrane that hangs over the hair cells called the tectorial membrane. This is the tectorial membrane, the organ of Corti, and the hair cells. And then this membrane that connects from this piece of bone all the way over here is called the basilar membrane. So we have three ducts, uh, vestibular duct, cochlear duct, tympanic duct. We have three membranes, vestibular membrane, tectorial membrane, basilar membrane. The basilar membrane is at the base of the organ of Corti. And within the organ of Corti, we have all these little hair cells. Now, when we hear... At the end of this duct is where the um, oval window would be, and the stapes is sitting here. When the three auditory ossicles are vibrating, when sound hits the tympanic membrane and it vibrates, the auditory ossicles will vibrate, and the stapes is going to pump on the oval window, which is at the opening at the end of this duct. That causes the perilymph and the vestibular duct to start to create waves, which will wiggle the vestibular membrane and causes the endolymph and the cochlear duct to start to vibrate or wiggle and create waves, which will vibrate the tectorial membrane and jam it into the hair cells. The hair cells are actually mechanoreceptors and when they bend one way they open sodium channels, they bend another way they can open potassium channels. And that will tell us the frequency of the vibration hitting our ear, which will signal these cells to alter their resting membrane potential. These are the specialized receptor cells. And then these cells, the first order neuron, will synapse all the way over here in what's called the spiral ganglion. Remember, a ganglion is a collection of neuron cell bodies outside the CNS. From the spiral ganglion, those cells will send action potentials out this structure, which is called the part of the um, cochlear nerve. And if I look at this model again, I can see the spiral ganglia these little red rings here, and I can see the cochlear nerve coming out, or the branches of the cochlear nerve, which form this big yellow structure. Okay, so quick review. Bony labyrinth, vestibular duct, cochlear duct, tympanic duct, vestibular membrane, tectorial membrane, basilar membrane at the base of the organ of Corti. We have the hair cells, we have the spiral ganglion, and we have the cochlear nerve. I hope that was helpful. Hope you learned something. Hope you had as much fun as I did. See you on the flip side.